Welcome back to my shop everyone. I'm Bobby Sharp. Today's episode we will be reviewing this Win 12 inch disc sander model 65812. I purchased this around mid 2020 and obviously I've been using it ever since that time. When you receive the sander the plate is not installed so you'll have to do that. It's really simple. There's just a bolt on this side and one on the other side. This sander is 120 volt, 60 hertz. It draws 8 amps and the disc turns at 1725 RPMs. The table size is 16 and 3 eighths by 6 and 3 quarters right here in the front. There is a dust port on the end and it comes with this hose. Now the hose looks like it has the same opening on both ends and that's to fit on this uh, outlet here at the bottom. Now for my dust collection in my shop I have a plumbing fitting. This would normally have a uh, radiator clamp if you will around each end. It fits nice and snug on there and then my hose fits right inside nice and snug as well. And this works very well. This goes to a theme baffle and a shop back. It does have a lengthy cord on it. I would say that's probably six feet long, most likely. And of course it has a power switch on the side. So let's cut it on. As you can see, it does take a minute to get up to speed. And since it takes quite some time to get up to speed, it takes quite a, some time to come to a stop. Of course, if this is a problem in your shop, you can just use a scrap piece of wood and hold it against the sanding disc until it stops. You may notice a little bit of wobble here. That's just because the sandpaper is not quite centered or the edge has not been trimmed, so it looks like it is actually not balanced. Speaking of the disc, it is a 60 grit disc. So it will remove material very, very quickly. I plan on replacing this with something more like 150 to 180, maybe even 220. Now this unit is kind of heavy, which is nice because there is a spinning mass and you want this to be nice and steady, no vibrations. The, the dust shroud here is cast iron. This shield is metal. The table is made of cast aluminum. It seems to be well machined. My particular unit is flat in all directions and when you loosen the two levers on the side the table can be tilted to a maximum of 45 degrees in relation to the disc. And by using a square you can easily square the table back to the disc. Now these tightening levers on both ends are actually spring-loaded so you can pull these out so when, when it bottoms out here you can rearrange where this lever uh, grabs the nut that is underneath so we, we can just keep pulling it out and adjusting it just like so. Overall the build quality of this I think is pretty good I don't exactly remember how much I paid for this I want to say it was around one 27 128 I looked at buying a rigid which is the the belt and the oscillating spindle sander but I opted to go with a 12 inch disc sander and I also got the win oscillating spindle sander
weight wise I would say this weighs around 40 pounds and again it has rubber feet and I'll, I'll turn it back on here in a second and let you see it running at full speed. There's a slight vibration. But not very much at all. So as that's slowing down, this guard is removable if you would like to have access to the entire face. I've always just used the left side here and left this guard in place. This actually aids in the uh, dust collection as well. And the dust collection works very well on this with the system that I use. Um, if you have something a little more powerful, you're not going to have any issues at all with uh, the dust port getting rid of the dust. Now, if you do use this without something over this dust port, be, be ready because it creates a lot of dust. Again, that's a 60 grit disc and it will take off material in a hurry. So if you are doing something very delicate, be aware that that disc will take off material extremely quickly. Now one of the safety features that this does have is on the on-off switch, there is a removable uh, plunger. And now it will not turn on with that removed. So if maybe you have a your shop is in the basement, you need to secure the tool so that you don't get little kids that cut it on and stick their finger to that 60 grit disc. You can remove the plunger and it disables the tool. It just simply pops back in and then you can cut it back off. Well, I appreciate you stopping by today. While you're here, I would appreciate it if you would check out some of the other videos I have on my channel. And please consider subscribing. That really helps me out here on my presence on YouTube. And also, if you thought this video was useful, please give us a thumbs up. We'll see you next time. I'm Bobby Sharp.